hello and welcome along today to the review of this. This is the WK MXI 125. Beautiful bike and if you've seen some of the previous footage that I've put up of this, a few photos on the Insta page and on my Facebook page for the garage, you will know how good this bike is. So we're going to start with the front end on this. Nice high screen deflect all that wind away from the face. Going down to the front wheel and you're running 110 70 15s on the front of these. Nice set of dual braking calipers down the front. Decent sized disc as well for the stopping power. Going down the side of the bike and you may notice when you start looking at the engine on this, very, very similar in construction to the Honda PCX. Yes, it's got the rad on the side. It's a water-cooled engine on this one. Decent size exhaust cover and you've got your pillion pegs here as well. So nice chunky pillion pegs should you wish to go two up. Dual sprung suspension to the rear. And then once again, buried in down the back of the bike, you've got that rear disc and caliper just working around, obscuring the number plate because obviously this is a customer's bike that is due to go out any day. Down the side, you've got your airbox breather, very easy to get in and just drain off any water that accumulates in those pipes and just to see down the side of the engine. Very easy for maintenance, Has comes along with a main stand and you've also got the side stand there. Fuel tank is filled up from the centre. Now on the key here, all you need to do, arm the ignition or you can twist back and that will pop your seat. Storage, you're not going to get a full face helmet in there, but very, very easy to get into the bike. Battery is just under this cover here, so should you need to charge the battery or optimise. Comes with a decent folder as well, so none of this plasticky folders that you get from other dealers. WK give you a nice folder and an OBD socket. So should you need to scan the bike up, bring it into the dealership, they would plug this into the bike, plug on, and it comes along with its obligatory toolkit as well. So decent sized storage under the seat and you just give it a bump to lock the seat down like so. Now onto the seat of this nice wide seat and there is plenty of room back there for your passenger and a decent sized grab rail should you want to go pillion but obviously no storage at the back for a top box. Now, whether it comes with an aftermarket top box or an aftermarket carrier, I do not know, but it might be something worth looking at to see if it does come with one. Down the front, twin USB socket just down here. So, nice idea. And the storage pocket on this. Now, that will take your iPhone 13, or if you happen to have one of the new fangled phones, I have tried that, that does take an S23 and my phone sits up nice on the top. So compared to some of the bikes that have a mobile phone pocket or a glove pocket, there is a decent size. Now, let's get up onto the controls. On this horn, indicators, hazards, main beam, dip beam situated there, and to the rear, pass light. On your right hand controls, your kill button, start button. Now the one thing that did impress me, look at this display. Full colour display on this. Revs go around the outside of the clock, mileage at the bottom, speed in the middle and you've got time and fuel situated at the bottom of that display. So very very easy to see how fast you're going and how good this bike is. So there will be a full ride review of this coming up on my channel very shortly. And it'll also be on the Garage channel, but that is the WK MXI 125. And seeing as this is just 2599 for the bike, you're getting a lot of bike for your money. As I say, with the WK bikes, you get a lot of bang for your buck with the WK. It's available, and obviously the link is in the video for more information.